Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in for another Seek Science video powered by Seek Foundation. Now, you're wondering, well, what is she gonna show us this time? Well, in one of our other videos, we made a stationary robot. This time, we are going to make a robotic costume. And all of your family members, this is something that you can do at home to have a good time and do a maybe a robotic challenge, dance off, you just never know, all right? So we're gonna do it in different steps, in different videos, because it is a long process, and some people move faster than others. But for this video, we are going to do step one, which is making the outside of the body, and you are going to have some homework. Yay! I know you're probably like, oh, please, no homework. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right. What do you need? You need some materials to start off with the outside, the body part of your robot. And remember, this is your costume. So you need a huge box that can at least, that you think will fit around your body because I, I think this, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you need goggles. And don't be like me, cause some videos I wear them and some videos I don't. I live life on the edge, so. Just put your goggles on, do better, be better than Mr. Nike, all right? And then duct tape, or whatever color duct tape you want. I want my robot to look silver, so I'm gonna use this and probably some aluminum foil. And then you need another smaller box, the one that can be bigger than your head because this is gonna go over your head, all right? One more thing, you are going to need a dryer vent duct because this is gonna be for your arms for those who are little. And also parents, if you want a larger size, you can get a larger size because they come in different dimensions. So you're gonna need this for your arms and your legs. But for my legs, they're a little chunky, so, which I love them. I might just wear a pair of tights or I might have these as, you know, ankle bracelets or something, whatever you wanna call it, I don't know. All right, so this is what you're gonna need and we're gonna go ahead and put together our body. So here we are with the box. What you are going to do, you're gonna make sure that you put on your goggles and if you need to wear gloves because you're gonna be cutting, I don't want you to cut yourself. And if you are a child, get assistance from your parents because the cardboard are very hard to cut. So you are going to cut the top and bottom of your box standing up longitudinal the long way. So you are going to cut the top, all of this off with the flap. You're gonna cut all this off, okay? And you're gonna do the same for the bottom because you want this to go over your body. Once your box is open and it's cut, you wanna make sure that you can fit it around your body and to see if your arm, at least one arm can get in there, then you know that you're able to bring it over your head or even your shoulders because your shoulders is wide. Well, not saying that you got wide shoulders, but you get what I'm saying. You know, it's, it sticks out and your arms come out. So you wanna make sure that you're able to get it over your shoulders so that it can go over your head past your shoulders. Now that we have our body frame cut out, what we're gonna do next for day one, or the first video, is to make sure that we cut out our arms. When cutting out your arms, you're going to use a ruler, any kind of ruler, it can be centimeters, but I use inches, and I measure from the top, I measure six inches from the top and then I am going to measure a circumference of six inches, six inches on each side, and I will cut it out for the arms because I need to add the dryer duct for the arms or if I wanna add something else for the arms. So that's what you're gonna do on both sides. Measure six inches from the top and then create a circumference of a square, which I didn't say, my bad, of six inches um, 
from the top. So you'll have your arms six inches apart, but please keep in mind if your arms are smaller than six inches, you can still make it six inches or four inches. It's up to you and if your arms are larger, you can still make it larger. You'll just have to add like some more material and then add your dryer duct for the smaller part of your arm, okay? Let's go ahead. So here's the first arm, and to make it easier, if you don't want to trace it on the other side, you just fold it close, and it will show you the triangle. You can just trace on the inside, but just cut on the outside, okay? All right, so here you have it. You have the first part, which is your body, and we are going to tape this close, and we want to make sure that it can fit over our body. And again, if your arms are much bigger, if you want to make it wider, it's up to you. And let's go ahead and tape this close. And for your homework, you are going to have to tape the entire box, whatever color you want. I want my box to be silver like a robot. So I want it to look kind of metallic. So whatever color you want, your homework is to wrap the whole box, but not the arm part. You just want to wrap the entire box, okay? Now we have the body. And again, you can use whatever materials you have around the house. This is what you are using. So this is why I use scissors, but if I was um, teaching or working with a group of kids with other people to help, we would use box cutters, only those that you know appear to be responsible. So again, we I use scissors because most people have scissors around the house. If you have a box cutter with a parent, please let them cut out your arms, the top part, and any other part that you need to cut out. So this is all for video one for the first part. Join in with us as we go ahead and create the arms and also the head for the next video. I am signing off with Seek Science Club, sponsored by Seek Foundation, and see you in the next video. Bye!